twin terror raids in Africa, one by SEAL Team 6 in Somalia, the other an operation in Libya that nabbed a top al-Qaeda leader wanted since 1998 for attacks on American embassies. ABC's Martha Raddatz has been tracking this all weekend long. And Martha, the Libyan raid, a clean capture, but the Somali operation ran into some trouble. Indeed, George, that mission did not go as planned. We do know the name of the al-Shabaab leader. His name is Ikrima, a Kenyan of Somali descent. But this morning, the al-Qaeda leader, Anas al-Libi, is being held aboard a U.S. Navy ship in the Mediterranean. The raids, some 3,000 miles apart, were carried out within hours of each other. High risk, boots on the ground missions. The first in Somalia. The target, a senior Al Shabaab leader, the group that claimed credit for the massacre at the Kenyan Mall. The U.S. forces leading the raid, the famed SEAL Team 6, emerging from the Indian Ocean before dawn on Saturday to a seaside Al Shabaab compound south of Mogadishu. But an intense firefight quickly erupted. The size of the resistance, far greater than the SEALs had expected. The exchange of gunfire, nearly an hour. The team was forced to withdraw without proof that their target had been killed. One of the reasons why you use a SEAL team in a situation like this is an on-the-ground commander who can exercise their judgment about the best course of action. In Libya, a different story. The man the U.S. had been seeking for 15 years for the murders of hundreds at the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, captured. Al Libby's son and brother in Tripoli telling ABC News that a convoy of cars approached Al Libby's home and vehicle. Commandos jumped out, said the men, smashing his car and grabbed Al Libby. There were no shots fired. I hope the perception is in the world that uh, people who commit acts of terror will know that the United States of America is going to do everything in its power that is legal and appropriate in order to enforce the law and protect our security. The captured al-Qaeda leader will eventually be sent to New York to face trial for the U.S. Embassy bombings. Lara? All right, Martha, thank you.